before we can get started, there are a couple of setup things that we need to do. First of all, and again, I'm showing it on the PC way, the Mac will be different. We have to make sure that through our options that we have the securities set up so that we can have macros. So we need to go into our Excel option center and then what we call the trust center. From there, we have trust center settings. And from the trust center settings, we have macro settings. And we need to make sure that enable VBA macros is on. I think in the Mac, it's under edit preferences security. But the point is we have to have those. If you don't have those turned on originally, you may need to both exit Excel and restart your computer in order for the settings to take. That's the setup. The second setup is you need to make sure that you are saving your spreadsheet specifically as a .xlsm file, also known as an Excel macro enabled workbook. So if I put a copy of this on my desktop, that way I'll know right there, it showed me I have an XLSM file, which tells me it is macro enabled. So now I have the security set up and I have the proper file. Next thing we need to do is take a copy of our assumptions tab and make a separate tab for which we will hide. So we're gonna right mouse click on top of that. We're gonna move or copy. We're going to create a copy. I always like scooching them next door to each other and then click OK. We can leave it named Assumptions 2, or if you like, you can rename it as I did it Assumptions Static. Now, if I hit that, though, though, I already have one since I'm using my macro already. So I'm just going to call mine Assumptions Static 2. And now we have that version waiting for us, which we will then now hide. From there, we're going to start off on our assumptions tab and here is where we're going to create the macro and when we create it you need to make sure you're pressing the commands exactly as i state them because excel is going to go ahead and record every single thing that you do here and if you miss a step or include extra steps it has the possibility of corrupting the macro so here we go let's navigate to the view tab under macros we're going to record a macro. I'm going to call it reset, but because I've made a couple of them already, I'm just going to give it a random number like reset number three. And I want to make sure I'm storing it in this workbook, not in any other workbooks or open workbooks, but this one right here. Once I click OK, Excel is now recording. So here comes the keystrokes specifically in an order. First, left click on the assumptions tab. Right click on the assumptions tab. Unhide. Unhide the assumptions static that you just created. Make sure you left click to select it, even if it's the only one that you see. And then click OK. I'm going to left click onto the assumptions tab again. I'm going to put my cursor starting up in my first values. I'm going to highlight all these values down through and including the end. From there, I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go to my assumptions tab and left click. Then I'm going to left click on my starting point. Then I'm going to go ahead and paste. I'm going to left click onto the assumptions tab. I'm going to hit the escape key to stop the copying process. I'm going to right mouse click onto the assumptions tab. I'm going to hide the assumptions tab. I'm going to left click onto the assumptions tab and then left click into that starting cell. Macros, stop recording. Now it's done recording what we're doing and we can take a look at it quickly. If I go to macros and view macros, the one I just recorded was number three, I think. So let's go ahead and look and see what it does. And here's the code that you're looking to make sure. It says you started off by selecting your assumption sheet, then by making your static assumption sheet visible. 
then you selected your static assumption sheet and you copied a range. Then you went to your assumptions page and you selected a range and then you pasted it in that active sheet. Then you went to that assumption static page and selected it. You turned off that cut copy mode. Then you selected that assumption static and you hit it. And then you selected your assumptions and then you started with that range and that was the end. So that should be the recording of your macro. Now that you have the macro recorded, your last step is to attach it to a button that goes in your navigation toolbar. So I'm just going to insert a text box right here. I'm going to type reset number three because it's the one we were working on. Obviously, you can customize it, color it, etc. But I'm going to move my cursor right to the edge and then I'm going to right mouse click on that cursor and I'm going to assign a macro. And then from there, I should be able to click reset three and then OK. And then when I click off of it, it should become a button for me. So that, that way, if I make a change like, whoops, I typed something in and that totally broke my income statement. What if I go back and hit that reset button? Now everything should reset to back to where it was. And if I look on the income statement, everything is fixed. So that is how you record the reset macro.